Hi everybody. This is Deborah from Stamp On It. This is number three in the Season of Love video series. And we're going to just go through a few more very quickly or not quickly but smoothly. Uh, some more ideas and products for the Season of Love. Season of Love is um, not just for Valentine's as many of us think of it, but it's also for anniversary, special someone, um, weddings, things like that. So let's get started. First card I want to show you in the first products are uh, two sheets or one sheet, two colors of stickers. They are actually borders, but they're wider and they have, if you can see on here, they have hearts, but they also have a, sh a sheet or a strips that are cupcakes. So it's a really neat sheet. It's DD555 and it is just those borders of cupcakes or hearts. This particular card, because we're in the, talking about the season of love, I'm going to show you the hearts. So on this card, and thank you again to Sharon for all her wonderful ideas and sharing her samples, this card is made with the hearts off the sheet. So you could easily make it into a cupcake card if you wanted to, and I can actually show you very quickly how she did that. This is the same idea, only using the cupcake side of the stickers, the cupcake version. So, and here's one of our cupcakes. That is DD55. Five, four, and that has cupcakes on it. So different sizes of them, so it's great to use. Same idea, same way, but just as more of a birthday card. That type of thing. Okay, back to the hearts. On this card we used 1900 for the ornament heart. Um, right now it is not available in gold. It's about two or three weeks out from being available in gold, but it is available in silver and in what we call red on gold. So it is a red outline, beautiful mirror red outline heart with a uh, gold finish. So these corners are uh, small corners 1.231, very elegant, and there's four different corners on that sheet of stickers absolutely gorgeous. I did not pull that sheet. It's not a new one, but it is very popular because of the different stickers on the sheet. Now this particular card, Sharon did a easel card. So what she did is she took the front, super easy to do, made a score line halfway, fold it, take your piece that is the same or similar, well, depending on what type of a uh, easel card you want. She attached that to the front of the card. So when it folds flat, it looks just like a regular card, but it can go into an easel card, which is really nice to set on someone's desk or in a windowsill or on a table or a counter. This particular one she made into celebrate by putting the words celebrate on a raised piece. That's what we call the bumper for the easel. So the easel front taps into that bumper and that's what holds the card and it's not super high so when you fold it flat it doesn't distort the front of the card or anything when it goes flat in the envelope so we just used our two millimeter foam on there even one millimeter would do the trick to catch that easel front all right the color in here is just using uh, tombos or any markers of your choice on this piece, it is vellum. The heart is laid onto vellum and the technique called plumping is done to the heart. So it has a little bit of dimension to it or raised. And then she came back and added some Tombow marker, same color as here, but then she blended it with a blender. And you can use a Dove blender or the Tombow blender. Um, Marvies and Tombows are water-based, so you can use just your standard blenders on those. Do not need a Copic blender. If you're going to use a Copic or alcohol marker, then you want to go to a Copic type blender. So that is a really nice card. Super simple. She did do a frame here. That piece she actually took and used one of our overlays and simply cut it down so it became a square frame. 
and she popped it up with some foam tape. Two millimeter, just to give it a little bump. We have different colors of the overlays on our website, so check that out. That way you can do different color frames. It's very monochromatic, but I like it that way for this particular project. So there we have our Celebrate Heart. Very easily could be made into a special you, wedding card, anniversary, that type of a theme. So that is our first project. All right, on to our next one with similar or same, I should say, uh, technique. By the way, we always store our cards in our sleeves. So you'll see me quite often pull it out of the sleeve. We do sell these online also, but they have a resealable flap. So you can just pull this and then reseal it, open it, reseal it, open it, reseal it. These are super nice to keep your cards protected, especially if you make them for samples. But you can also mail out in them. You just have to um, possibly, depending on your post office, put extra postage on. So check that out before you do send them out. And what we will do if we're going to use them as a mailer, we will take a piece of paper, cardstock, and put it in with the return address and the two address on it and then slide it in. And you can have this side showing, the nice side, and then on this side have the return address and the address on a separate piece of paper if you like. So anyway, this particular card is with love, done with the same plumping technique. This is actually one of the new Daisy stickers and it's um, called 20, it's 2273 Stacked Daisy, really beautiful sheet. Around the daisy frame here, which is a large circle frame, this is a leafing pen. We have uh, leafing pens on our website. Check that out. Also, we have a technique video. So you can see that. I think the, the technique video is right off the leafing pen product screen. She edged it with that leafing pen. Love, I love leafing pens. They are a great tool, super easy to use framed. These are Samantha Corners, DD6570, DD6570. She added a little bit of darker purple just to tie into the lavender overlay. Very nicely done. All right, but also with love. The with love comes off to someone special. Here's the recipe for this project. I'll hold that right there so you can see it for a minute and tells you all what's on this card and the tools that she used and the techniques. If you ever have questions, email us right off our website, uh, info at stamponit.net. It'll come right to my desk and we will get back to you as soon as possible with any information that you may need or any links to product. All right, next one is a card using a embossing folder. This particular embossing folder is actually no longer available. Just found that out today. So I have two left in stock. So the first two people to order it will get it. Uh, we have plenty of other ones on our site you can do the same technique with. But this one is called Peony Blooms. I'm going to just hold this so you can see the recipe for this one as well. And Peony Blooms is actually was a gorgeous peony flower. The entire embossing folder. Like I said, I have two left. So the first two orders will get it. It is um, done on vellum. She took a piece of vellum, put it into the folder and embossed it. For those of you who are wondering what an embossing folder and embossing is, simply go to our website and under embossing folder, the, uh, the shop link at the top. Sorry, had a moment there. I couldn't think. Go to embossing folders and click on them and you'll see all the different embossing folders and then you can see a video that will show you uh, ways to use them and so on. But this particular one she took and embossed it and I'm just going to check to make sure she did. She used chalks on this. So she used chalks on the embossed vellum after it came out of the folder. And this is our vellum cardstock. Vellum cardstock is heavier cardstock. It's almost like a cardstock weight, but it is vellum finish. So she embossed it, then she came back with chalks and rubbed the chalks over the surface with a sponge or a Q-tip applicator, whatever you want to use for whatever desired look you're thinking. And then for the really beautiful part, this is what I love, she came back with a clear wink of Stella. 
Wink of Stella is a shimmer or glitter pen with a brush tip. I'll hold that up there so you can possibly see that. And she simply took and brushed over the surfaces and the areas, the raised parts in this case, that she wanted to shimmer. So just adding a little shimmer to any parts that she wanted shimmer on that vellum surface. The more you add, the more shimmer. Now remember, Wink of Stella is not like, whoa, glitter. Wink of Stella is very subtle. Beautiful, subtle. And simply brushed it lightly over that surface. Let it dry. It'll dry with a beautiful shimmer to it. Love the clear Wink of Stella. So worth it. You can use this on multiple surfaces. Um, comes in colors, but clear is most definitely my favorite. So that's Wink of Stella on the cardstock vellum after it has been embossed. Absolutely gorgeous. This heart border, which she also came back and highlighted with Wink of Stella inside of the heart design, is off from 2850. 2850 is a border sticker and it has different borders on it. It has these thin ones that she went around the piece with and then it also has this heart border. Now, the way she attached it to the actual um, card is with double stick tape. Because the vellum is translucent, and then when you emboss it, it becomes even more translucent, so you can't really see through it as well. She could put down just the double-sided, skinny, eighth-inch tape all the way around and adhered it to the front of the card. Super simple, super easy, really, really beautiful. So that is Peony Bloom's embossing folder with Wink of Stella highlighting. All right. This is another piece just to show you the difference. This is the same Peony Bloom, but she put color on the inside of the folder with, I believe this is off from a marker, and she simply colored the embossed surface of the folder itself, then put the cardstock in and embossed it. Now, depending on where you put the color, on which side of the folder you will get either this look or you will get that look. Makes a big difference when you put the color in and on which side of the folder you put it. And again, go to our embossing folder section and you will see more information on that. If you have any questions, need more help with that technique, certainly email me. All right, so that is Peony Bloom's embossing folder with Wink of Stella. All right. We got one more to show you here. This one is done off from a sheet called Floral Frames 4. Absolutely love this card. This is stunningly gorgeous, but a great idea. I love this idea. So she took the Frames 4 Vintage Hue, and on this one there's four different frames on Art Acetate. She used this particular one in this case cut it, added it, or adhered it to a piece of our glitter film. That technique is in our on our website too, working with the glitter film. She then came back and added stickers to the front of the acetate. And in this case, she used DD2106, which comes in gold, silver, and black. But the cool part about this sticker sheet is it is all different little words. So you have from the heart, loved one, uh, love and best wishes, just the word love, heartfelt wishes, loving kisses, loving thoughts, with love, yours forever, all on this sheet. It's a great sheet. Wonderful for the series of love video. Comes in silver, gold, black. DD2106. Has a gorgeous font, kind of a cursive. Super easy to work with looks like that when it's adhered to the front. So this card we could easily be made into really anything you want from birthday to thinking of you to thoughts, just a note, just by putting whatever you want on the front of these frames. Or you can put it on the glitter film underneath before you attach this to the front. This is attached either using the adhesive off the glitter film or you can simply adhere it to the front of the glitter film using crystal lacquer. Crystal lacquer is a 3D dimensional adhesive that we use a lot with the glitter film. It's, you cannot see it, and you simply put it down and you press your um, uh, 
that a vintage hue to the glitter film, let it dry and you're all set. But you can certainly use the glitter film adhesive because it is adhesive backed. And once you peel it, you can stick it to the back side of your vintage hue and the whole piece will shimmer. All right, and again, we have a video on our website showing that. This is one last thing I wanna show you. Very cool, this sticker sheet, and I don't know if you'll be able to see these, but it is just a whole sheet of dots, different size dots from little to big. 4724 is the number, and it's called Pearls and Gems. And don't discount that. They come in a lot of different colors, a lot of colors listed on our site. But see how she used them just in the corners to accent? The corners of that card. I just thought that was really cool and worth noting. She used silver to go with the silver words. So if you use black, you could use a different color or you could use gold. There's gold, there's turquoise, there's red, there's green, there's purple, there's pink. All different colors of the pearls and gems. Great highlighting accent sticker sheet. She layered this onto black, kind of pulls out some of the darker color in that frame. And then she used a little bit of one millimeter, which is a thinner foam tape and adhered it to the front of the card, which has a dots embossing on the front. Very beautiful. Nicely done with the floral frame, fol, floral frames four, say that three times fast. Floral frames four, beautiful. So I hope you have enjoyed this quick video. Just wanted to take you through a few season of love ideas. If you have any questions, please email us right off our website at www.stamponit.net. Please follow us on our Facebook. Join our YouTube. We'd love to get comments from you. Love to hear from our customers and things that you would like to see or uh, products. Always like new ideas. So thank you for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.